All right, so we're picking the last of the peppers again. Ferment them up. Pick, 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 peck. Pick a peck of pickle peppers. How many peppers do Peter Piper pick? All right. I'm going to finish that up and meet you inside. Sassafras. Hi, you guys. So it's been about six days that this has been fermenting, and you can see just tiny little bubbles in here. And I've kept the lid on pretty tight because I'm trying to get the uh, peppers in here effervescent. I like it when I bite into something that's fermented and it's like fizzy. So I'm going to just burp it. I've been doing this every day for a while, um, but I wanted you to see what it looks like when I burp it. And we're going to do a little close-up here and 
you'll see. Look at that. So if I leave, get the gas to stay in there for a while, it will um, kind of gets into the food. I don't know how it works, but I found that it's more effervescent, like especially with pickles and stuff if I do it like this. So I'm going to let that um, drain out, and then I'll reef it down again and keep it on for another few days. It's really cool though, isn't it? Anyway, there you go. Now I decided since I've got the top off, I might as well take a taste here and see. And, you know, I've got the jalapenos in there and other hot peppers. This is just a pepperoncini. Mm, it's getting there. Mm-hmm. Nice and hot. Still crunchy. I'm going to go longer, though. Yum. Okay, we'll come back later. Just put it back together the way I pulled it apart. Leave it there until next time.